Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have started, we have almost done with the modeling of this particular stylish bathroom over here. So now what I'll be doing over here, if you want to hang some kind of cloth over here that can be hung over here, we can do that. So you can easily do that. Uh, you can use a cloth for that if required so you can just go over here take a plane so for the hanging part you need to keep something which will help it to hang over here you can do that if required So I can just take a plane over here So if I am using a cloth then So I can go into this, go into animation, can go into mass effects, rigid body, static rigid body, go into this and you can make it as original shape. So if you want some other parameters, you can check out some other parameters also. Select this, mass effects, cloth, create mesh cloth. So into that, we have few of the parameters attached to collider. Animation, mass effects, simulation, play simulation. It's falling down. So this is totally a different property what we are doing over here. You can use this. You can manually also if you want you can use uh, different options from freeform to create this that can be created can use a freeform option we can use it in that way also if you want so we have used self collision over here okay. all right because there is nothing to get connected over here so if you just select this part you can select this so what I'll be doing over here is like 
I'll go into this M cloth vertices. I'll select the vertices and I'll just make a group over here. After making a group, I'll just go into this vertices, select this group pin and you have option that is called pin. You need to activate this. So I have already activated it. You can activate this pin option over here. Once you click on this pin option, this vertices will get attached to this object over here. So once you're done with this, now I can go into animation, mass effect simulation and play simulation. So once you play the simulation, you will see that mass effects, simulation, play simulation. You will see that the cloth is now properly hanging. You can see the difference over here. So this is a way you can do it. I'll show you again. You can just go into the M cloth, select the vertices over here. You can make a group first over here. After that, select the group and you have an option that is called pin. You can pin where it is going to attach to that particular object. So once you're done, go into animation, mass effects, simulation, play simulation. So I'll just convert to editable body. So you can use this in this way if required. I can slightly shuffle it out. So this is just an example to show you over here. Now I can just go into this and I have an option over here that's your free form. You can use a free form and you can use a bit of relax and everything to make the cloth much better. So you also have push and pull. You can just use push and pull or you have a shift option. You can slightly use this also if required. So let's use a bit of relax if required and you can give a bit of shell modifier. So you can just assign a bit of shell over here, reduce the size. So this is just a way what you can do it over here with the help of this cloth. You can make it much better way. After that, let's start up with the texturing part. Let's go into rendering, render setup and let's activate this V-Ray over here. Post to sided, I'll on it and I'll make it as HD over here for now at least. So let's start with the plane, that's your base part. Go into material, press M. Let's take a slate editor over here. So take a slate material editor. And take a V-Ray, V-Ray material over here. Let's name it as floor over here. Take a bitmap. Let's take a bitmap over here. I'll go into this. I have a texture for it. So let's just take a flow texture. Select this. Give a bit of reflections. Assign it. 
over here. After that, I can go into this and I can slightly increase its uh, tiling part over here. So you can increase or decrease the tiling section. That's totally okay. You can assign it in this way. Select the wall section. For the wall part, I'll go into the polygon. Uh, before that, I'll go into modeling and I'll just assign one swift loop. Select this wall. So select this edge first. Give one connect. Slightly shuffle it over here. Select the polygons. Go into material. Vray material. For the wall, take a bitmap. So I'll just take up a bitmap over here. For the wall, you can even take a plane also. Or else, uh, we have this. Let's try to assign this, how it looks like. Uh, no. Doesn't go with it. I'll change the texture I've taken for the wall, ceramic wall tiles. I'll just assign that. So go into the material and I can slightly reduce it if required. So this doesn't go with it so it's better what I'll do over here is like uh, I'll just remove this I'll clear it I'll just make a color assign it can make it lighter also if required make it a bit lighter All right. So definitely we'll be using lights, then it will look much better. Select this part of it. Select this whole thing. Let's again go into this material. Take a V-ray material over here. Diffuse bitmap and we can take some other texture if required so this is what your flow texture is this is what your ceramic tiles you can assign such textures also if required you can try this okay this looks also much much better so i'll go into this and i'll just set it to three by three all right so goes with it so I'll again go into the material I'll just name it as wall and slightly I'll give a bit of reflection if required can do that select this cabinet go into the material take again a V-ray material bitmap and I have a natural wood texture I'll give slight reflections I'll give depth 8 and let's give again a UVW map set it as a box over here So right click convert to editable poly. Now I will be assigning a glass shader over here. For that select this and this. Go into material editor. 
take a V-ray material, give a bit of color, go into refract, give a full glass material. So into that I'll set the property as 1.7 over here. So name it as glass over here. And let's just assign that over here. So control I that is for inverse. Go again into the material, V-ray material, give a black color, assign it. That's it. So guys, if any doubts, please put it in the comment section over here. So please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. So definitely we'll be doing some lot of stuff over here. So if any doubts, please put it in the comment section. So we'll continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial. So guys, stay tuned for more videos on KO tutorials. So thanks for watching this tutorial.